in the movie, you're married to Gabrielle Union, who's obviously... Toughest acting job in my life. <laughs> I know. Proving you, I could get her. <laughs> you're really playing the role really, really well, Jerry. Really playing it well. But you have Dwayne Wade as her fiancé. Mm -hmm. Did you run things by Dwayne where you're like, listen... No, I kind of... It's acting, man. I, it's okay. I, I kind of left that up to Gabrielle, <laughs> figuring that whatever she thought was okay was already discussed. So uh, I didn't give too much thought to it. I mean, I don't think D. Wade has too much to worry about uh, <laughs> when he looks at me. I don't think he was at home worrying what, what's going to be going on. Were you rooting for the Heat in the finals? Yeah, I mean, I was rooting for a good series. I actually would have... You know, I'm happy for the Spurs. It was great to see. They played one of the best final series ever. I would have liked to have obviously seen it go longer because I just love the game. Um, I'm neither a Heat nor a Spur fan. I appreciated what the Spurs did. That was beautiful basketball. And um, I appreciate what the Heat did. I mean, making the finals four straight times, you know, that team needs to be retooled a bit. And there's no one to blame. People who are, like, blaming LeBron or D-Way, it just – no one was beating the Spurs. Well, the big three aren't the only ones who can opt out of their contracts this year. A very famous New York basketball player is also going to opt out. It's just a question now whether Carmelo Anthony resigns. Lala Anthony is in the movie. Were you, like, pumping her for information? I, I mean, I, sh I, I thought about it. <laughs> I, there were times where it, we'd be in between a take and you're just sitting around and I wanted to be like, Lala, so uh, you guys looking at houses anywhere? What are you guys? But of course, I, so I, I respected. what schools are you looking at? Yeah. I tried to respect the actor-friend relationship, but I didn't go too deep into her personal life. Well, I mean, you could skirt it, you know, and bring back the info for I, the rest of us sports fans. I have no subtlety. <laughs> See, but you, you would be able to do it because you're a pro. What can you tell us about the Entourage movie? Um, I can tell you that it's good. <laughs> which is first and foremost. Uh, Doug Allen wrote a great script, and um, it, it is definitely the movie version of the show. Everything is heightened. Everything feels bigger. Um, it's, it's entourage on performance-enhancing drugs. <laughs> okay. I think we test positive for PEDs for this movie. Hit me. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.